Hello and welcome back. Um, in this video I'll talk about how to integrate lighting into the game state changes from Counter-Strike. Uh, and this is just a live demo, so I will just um, start by running the lighting server. This is configured to uh, to get information directly from the Counter-Strike game client. There are a few bugs in the, in the server still, so we get a few empty JSON uh, packages uh, to the server, so we'll just say it has some errors, and th and then we'll post the actual payload. So let me just real quick start uh, a game with uh, with bots. Uh, I know it says no no bots, but uh, all right. And uh, now we'll load up uh, a map. So. The system is configured in such a way that we get a game state information every five seconds. And you will see uh, the RX LED on the Arduino lights up or blinks every five seconds. Um, well, let's just spawn as a terrorist. Okay. In freeze time, we have uh, blue uh, fading. And um, I know it looks crap on camera. Uh, I really had to turn down the intensity of the LEDs in order to get, the, get it filmed. Correctly. Let's go. So when we go from freeze time to live round, we can see that um, that the game changes, and also the the server here will go from uh, freeze time to live. The reason it shows it multiple times here is that, we, as I said before, we get the information every five seconds. So I can run up here and plant the bomb. Let's plant the bomb. Now we planted the bomb, and we can synchronize the the beeping with the blink. And sometimes it's it's kind of hit and miss, hit and miss with the with this uh, synchronization because yeah, I'm not really sure what's happening. Sometimes the information just is really slow to, to get from the server. But now you can see we get planted as well. So when I have planted, we um we take that game state change and then forward it to the Arduino so it can start the bomb uh, sequence. And then uh, if we win by the bomb exploding, we'll get a rainbow effect. The idea is to exchange those 10 LEDs with uh, 400 LEDs so we can light up a whole room with this. We're back in freeze time. Uh, let me just real quick uh, add a bot. All right, now we have a, a competitor. And this bot shouldn't harm us at all. Let's see how it goes. So we can win in four different ways. Either uh, the terrorist team can win by planting the bomb, as you just did. We can win by killing the entire other team, if we can find him probably went the other way around. Or we can win, or the counter-terrorist can win by executing the other team, that means killing me. Or uh, the counter-terrorist can win by uh, defusing the bomb. I heard him. Yeah. The terrorist wins, and we get a red, red flashing color. Alright, so the last two uh, win types is that if the bomb is defused, or the counter-terrorist wins. And um, we can plan the bomb, and then change team, and then defuse the bomb, and then we should see the green light. Yeah, and we should see the... Bomb has been planted. Yeah, and for some reason now the lighting is way better synchronized. I'm not completely sure what's going on here. Let's just go up and defuse the bomb. And we should see a green flashing light. Yes. So the last type of win is that if the counter terrorist kills the opposing team. So let's see if we can find the the bot and kill him because then we should see the blue flashing. So now uh, that's the last type of winning we can see. So we're in freeze time right now. The blue slow motion fade and change to the yellow uh, fade. So the yellow just indicates that the round is live, or we can do whatever we want to. 
the game is on. Counter-terrorists win! We got a blue flashing light that indicates that the counter-terrorists wins. So that was a real quick demonstration of how the system works. Of course you can integrate whatever you want into to the Arduino. And uh, my plan is to exchange these 10 uh, LEDs with, uh, as I said before, 400. Uh, and light up the whole competitive area uh, in the uh, net party where we're going to compete in a few months. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, drop a comment if you have some. Um, yeah, until next time.